everybody, and welcome to another episode on Skyblock. I'm here with Fusetti. Hey, hello. Yay. <laughs> uh, we've got a third person with us this week um, who's wandering around yeah. behind us. He decided not to join us for our intro. Um, we'll see what he can trade in a minute. Uh, we've got a few things we're going to do this week. Uh, we've got an announcement. Uh, we're going to do a build off. Um, we'll talk about a bit more of that in a minute. Building's my favourite thing. Yay. <laughs> I like it. Um, and then we've got a few bits and pieces we're going to do, but we'll talk about those as we get to them. So, first of all, let's see what Mr. Trady Man has to offer us. Uh, I, got, I got to him first. You can't open it if I've got it open, can you? No. No. So... Nothing too exciting. We've got some slime balls because we need some of them. We don't have enough of that. <laughs> some pink dye. Oh, we don't need mel. See, these things never give us anything good. The closest we get is a bucket of puffer fish. Oh, I've got some diamonds. How many can I buy? Mm. I got puffer fish. <laughs> you need to look out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So look, Stay this is our me. first wandering trader we've re we've got. So, and he's a huge disappointment. So, anyway, it's interesting to know if only they had lava, because we need more lava. Definitely, definitely. We need to find a way of getting them. Have we finished with him? I think so, yeah. I was going to push him off the edge. <laughs> Will his lava go with him? Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And that brings me up to Damn. another opportunity of <laughs> comparing the debts 30 to 22. So. Oh dear. And I've got I've a just lead. got that armor as well. <laughs> I've got a lead out of that. So, um, uh, here's, a, here's a random chest. I'm chucking in some puffer fish and a lead. All right, let's go and have a look at our little build off location. Yep. So. Last week I said I was going to build for Sedia a haunted house. Um, and he lied. Because I didn't have any time. So lied. yeah. Um, I have torn down his house though. See, uh, which he's not just, happy about. just adding more salt into the wound. He lies to me <laughs> and then it's like, what house? But as you can see, um, I've you... built two platforms. And this one's mine. And you've got it? a little chest. Yeah, if you can take whichever one you want. You've got so, right now. so you've got you've the got one, one on the there. high ground. Well, yeah. You chose that one, though. So. Okay. You just you know where you belong. So. Mm -hmm. so we've got a little chest here with a few of, of minimal supplies that I've and managed what, to get together. And what are we building here? Um, we are building a haunted house. So it's a build battle. Um, we're hopefully going to get one of our lucidites to come on and judge it and we'll see if we can do that. Um, so, but yeah, the challenge is over the, the week. The, sorry, the news just in on that is Giffo yeah. says he can do it if it's before 10 a.m. Before S your time. Yeah. So I think we'll have Giffo here to. Oh, you know what we're going to do? He won't be able. He's not allowed to know who's is who's. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> so, so he'll come and judge which one's the best, and we'll see who is the he best wins. at building and I'm pretty sure it won't be me so and from this point on because I'm making up rules on the go now for right. every death you get from now on <laughs> subtracts a point from your build <laughs> <laughs> we're going to reset the death counter then no, we just know that you're on oh. 30 and I'm on 22. <laughs> We're not resetting the death counter. Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping. <laughs> anyway, we'll come up with a fine fine tuning of the rules. I don't know if that'll be a rule because, yeah, I could probably just plonk a piece of dirt down here, get one point for it, and still win. Because you'll <laughs> fall off the edge 10 times. <laughs> While building, yeah. So, yeah, so this is where we're going to build our little haunted house. Uh, I think I'll make mine Adam's family style. All right, okay, I'm not telling you how mine's going to be, so it's all a surprise. Mm -hmm. All right, so that will be fun. That's something we're going to do during the week. So I think we shall just 
Kat and Nick over to the, what are they called? Husk farm. I'll see you over there. Okay, so we're at my little husk farm. It's, the sun is just about gone down. As this has no roof, it only works at night. But basically the sand drops and the drops in general in this farm completely suck. So I don't know what's what's wrong. Like if we go over to our other farm, there's, there's stuff dropping all the time. I don't know if the roof plays a part in it or not, but this is really, really bad. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I see you've managed to get some ink, which is quite cool. Yeah, the uh, the squids, because around platform. here or something is a... What did we get then? Uh, around the back yeah, there yeah. is a, a river biome, and the source block, I think, lives in the river biome, so occasionally a, a squid spawns. So, anything interesting? Well, did we get more sand then? I think we did. Uh, one, yeah. <laughs> yes. So look, we've, <laughs> we've been talking about it and, and this is really bad. I even dropped it down. I don't know if that was included in my last video. I dropped it down to be the same, just about the same level as the other farm and it still sucks. So what I think I might do, I'm not going to do it this week, but I'll investigate maybe making the spawning platform bigger and see if that helps. We are limited by, you know, that there has to be in a desert. So I don't know how far out the desert extends, but so I'll investigate that and we'll see how we go. But we've been discussing in the meantime that we might just look at getting glass through trading. Yeah, I think that's a good option. Yes, yeah. So my mouse goes a bit crazy. And now I'm in slow motion for some reason. What have I done? My mouse has a mind of its own after time. So <laughs> I can't move. Anyway, so what we might do, I think to do some of the trading, because I'm stuck here, I can't move. To do some of the trading, we're going to make some changes to the trading hall. And we'll make it a bit bigger. And so let's just jump over there. We're gonna be jumping all over the joint at the start of this video. Jump over there and let's just see what we think we will make changes then. Yep, okay. So here we are at the trading hall. Um, this is our next agenda, I guess. We're gonna, Fizzetti's gonna add some more villages. Am I? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Fizzetti's gonna upgrade the uh, melon and pumpkin farm, add an auto carrot farm, I think you said you were gonna do. Yeah, yeah those two things are on my so list. Yes. yes. Cool. Yes. Um, I am going to bring the iron from down there that's spilling out over the edge into the void. Uh, up here so we can have a bit of an iron shower so we can trade better um, and also I think we're going to bring the villagers that are breeding over there we'll get a little water stream so we can bring them over here a bit easier without having to put them in a boat and do all that little jizz, jizz jizz cool yes and, and I think that was it wasn't it uh, I think we're just going to expand out more bays so possibly come over here I don't know if we want to extend this out a bit more and maybe have a bit of a horseshoe thing happening so maybe come back around on this side and have a whole stack of villages that we can um that we can use we were talking offline about armor so we don't know if we can get diamonds we don't think we can but Bob was saying that maybe we can remove the enchantments off the armor we get from these guys and then maybe set up an enchantment table get some and books and whatever and get yeah. yeah and get what we need so that might be something we can investigate as well and i think the goal here with upgrading this uh, apart from having a villager to get us glass because we're sort of giving up on that farm over there so we should be able to get glass i think from a cleric no from wrong? the librarians which we haven't got one of yet yeah, i don't get any of this stuff right a lot of libraries, you know, mending books and stuff. Um, yeah, so we'll get glass from them. So when we've got a bigger population of villagers here, we're going to have uh, more things to trade with them. And then if we can yeah. manipulate the armor, we can get some decent armor and then we can maybe go attack a dragon or two. So that should get the get death count wings. up. If we do that in between now and the <laughs> judging, we'll probably both get zero scores. <laughs> yeah, so my light would be so much fun. So, yeah, yeah, so we're going to extend this out and, yeah, we might be able to come up with... It won't matter with you. Your armor only... 
your arm has like got the lifespan of a gnat or something, isn't it? It just lasts about a day. It just looks so much better though. I'm, <laughs> yes, I'm in style here. I know. Good match, it matches my tie. The gods down in the void area, they're wearing the best armor that you'll throw <laughs> yeah. at them. So, um, yeah, so we think if we can get our armor up and our tools up, we will be able to take on the dragon. Yeah. So that's the idea here. Let me have a look at my list. The um, I think we've covered everything. The only other thing is, and I sort of sprung it on Bobbit before, but I made an improvement in his nether farm. So let's go over to the nether oh, farm. Yeah. He, he, he I haven't it, seen this yet. I don't know he, what's going on. He thinks it's perfect and it, it wasn't. So I fixed it. So but let's go over there and um, we'll cut back. It wasn't broken. <laughs> sure it wasn't. All right. So I came out here because well, I forget what I was coming out here. I think I wanted some rods or something to to um, to cook food or I forget why I was out here. And I noticed because I had my camera account with me. I noticed that up the top there, there were just like, where do I get out? I don't know where I am. Here. You want to get up the top? <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. When I came here, there were way too many magma cubes. Like this area was just full of magma cubes. So can you see my improvement? I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. It's very good. <laughs> I just chucked a cactus in the middle. So um, <laughs> they jump around and eventually they... Can I kill him here? They chop themselves up. And sometimes, not very... Oh, I'd be sad if a skeleton head. Sometimes they drop down. Still not getting much from magma cues, but a little bit. Yeah, because I don't think our little... Um, cactus over and the shoot over there was doing the job because no, literally think... this was wall-to-wall -wall magma cubes when i came up here that time the magma cubes are still too big a thing you need a bigger drop so yeah at some well, point i'll come over and overhaul the whole thing I'll... yeah and if we weren't here they'd be jumping around and jumping on the, yeah. um, the cactus over there so that seemed to sort of help a little bit with the drops um yeah, so that was my huge improvement. Cool. Thank so you I very guess, much for the improvement. Right. Yeah, the uh, the bill is upgrade. I am sending you a bill, so that will um, okay hit your mail account shortly. I think that's it for what our plans are. So as usual, we'll probably break here, and you'll see each of our each of our um, updates in our own channels. So make sure we, mm -hmm. you know, if you're watching mine, go over and check out Bobbits as well to um, to see both perspectives. And at some point, I think I'm going to educate Bobbit on how to make access to farms that are just death traps. This was <laughs> put in especially for you. I can still jump All over these the edge if I want to. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go off and do our homework and we'll pop back in a minute on each of our channels and show you what we've gotten up to. And um, yep. Bob will show you his extra five deaths that he'll do. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, we're back and I don't know if Fizz has mentioned in his uh, to his viewers um, but we've done the whole um, sorting the system out. We've changed the plots no one's got a plot now like we said at the beginning of the video because we want it to be anonymously um, voted on I have put for your information for Zeddy and for your viewers I have put a melon in one box and a pumpkin in another and I have put one melon and one pumpkin in this dispenser so whoever gets what ends up with the plot but don't look in the boxes obviously now because we don't want anyone to know which one we own I um, see. but that's just for us later <laughs> So I don't know if you want to do the honors and push the button, and then if I'll, you get the pumpkin, I'll be the um, I'll be the um, <laughs> the leftover guy. What, the, what, what I can politically correctly call myself, like the barrel girl. Here we go. <laughs> you push. So the am I pushing it, and you get it, and what you what yep. comes out is yours. All right, here we go. Yeah, and then you get the opposite. Okay. Excellent. All right, cool. I've got melon. I know. I saw it. So. And you got I'm a already holding 
and I've got a pumpkin, yeah. <laughs> so I've got melon first. So I'll take the melon plot and you have the pumpkin plot. All right. Easy done. Yes. And you can find out which one's which off camera. So just checking the deaths to see how many points you get deducted. <laughs> it seems it hasn't changed yet. All right. No problem. No. So one of the tasks that I have to do is to automate this carrot farm here. So I think I'm just going to use the two villager system where one of them's a farmer, grows the carrots, picks them up and tries to throw them at his friend hiding on the other side of some hopper carts. So let's just go and start doing that. I was on my way over to the, to the farm and I thought I'll just stop off and have a look at what's been going on here. And look at this, this is full up. And I was planning on making it bigger because there wasn't enough coming out. I don't know if this is a spawn chunk. I don't think it is, but I think our Bob, it's probably been here enough to keep it loaded. And we're laughing here. Have I got, yeah, I have. Let's just convert some of these into melons. So this is the start. I went to the nether and got some rods to smelt down some sand and make some glass panes. They're reasonably um, cheap. Now that we've got some sand, it didn't use a lot of glass. And I also smelted some bricks and made some stone bricks just to make it look a little bit better because, you know, in Skyblock, most of your builds look a little bit crappy. Uh, I'm thinking I might actually take these corner ones out and put some stones in, but that'll be coming up next. And I ran a line of hoppers. Now it's incredibly unattractive, but it will probably do for the start. We might think of doing something else, maybe just dropping them down and you know, having an item elevator up the end. But the next stage is, other than putting these in, is to get a couple of villagers over. So one's going to be in here with a composter doing all the carrots, and we're going to have a couple of Hop a minecart sitting here and another guy saying hello to him and his little friend's going to throw carrots at him and they'll get picked up by the hoppers. So I'm going to try and work out how to get one of these guys over here and put in the hopper minecarts. Okay, so I think I've worked out a plan. I'm just going to fence up along the sides. I don't, they're not going to jump, but just in case. I don't want to encourage them. So he can walk all the way along here and I think, I'm hoping this will work, that I've just got to really open up this area and their natural want of walking up higher will get them running up here and I'll probably just let one go first so that might be the next difficult part and I'm gonna make some more of them but um yeah so that's the plan we'll let one of them out Hopefully he's crazy enough to just want to walk up here and run along here. And the only spot he can go is up to here. And this is where he's going to live. And I'll be standing behind him with some bricks to, um, to make sure he doesn't get out in a hurry. All right, I finally got him in there. Some water escaped down there. I hope I haven't ruined anything. Mm, it'd be nice to have glass planes, panes here, actually. I can do that. Just so we can see that he's not up to mischief. Don't you mess up those minecarts. I tidied up the, his little capture box there. Uh, extended the window out, got rid of some extra stone and put some bits down the bottom. He's got a roof. I put the roof there because I was a bit worried the phantoms might come at night for me. So I think we're all ready to go for this next guy. So let's let him out. Come on. And I'm going to go up here. You he can take his time. I'm going to go plant some carrots. Oh no, he's picked it up already. This is going to be super easy. I won't even have to plant him. I can just throw him at him. But, um,. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw them at him and lock the window up. So when he's done planting and they're grown, they sh oh, I've still got that. Okay, I've got just enough glass to break this. Don't you come out here? 
Uh, dirt. All right, let's break this so they they can say hello to each other. We got some just to hoe that. I don't trust you. Go away. Oh, should I trade with you? What are you going to offer me? It's a shame you don't have carrots because that's all I got. I might pop back at some other point and just trade with him. I don't think he's going to lose his profession, but you never know with these crazy people. All right, I think we're done. So he can plant them, they can grow, etc., etc. I'm going to come back. What I might do is just block off this ugly hopper chain and get rid of all this. And just so that we can see carrots coming through. Okay, for some reason, they have moved them. I don't know why. Okay, I think this is the answer. Uh, I'm in Lucidity server and a trapdoor above stops him walking into it. What I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna start again because uh, I'm gonna want to place it very quickly because he's gonna want to mess them all up. Uh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> Where's he going? Okay, bye. I was wondering where he went off to. And he's over here having a rest. So I think the sun's coming up. So I should, whilst I can. It was good that he sort of went away because I was able to set up his little area. Now I just need to find a way for him to get it in. I'm gonna have to go get some more glass because I'm breaking too much of it. So I've got the trap door in, his little mate's trapped, his little gizmo is there. Let's see if we can get him to come up here. Have to break that one. And if I've got time before the sun comes up and he gets up, I might just block all this area off so he can't go further away. Wish me luck. Get out of bed. Well, he walked straight in and because I was, there he goes. All right, that'll do for now. Let me get some blocks here so I can jump over the wall. And then I think this is take two of trying to get this working. His little friend can come out. I'm gonna go, I've still got my hoe on me, that's okay. So now I think I've discovered the secret of them. Oh, you're still a farmer, good. Discovered the secret of them not breaking these. It's just, you put that at the top. Let's just quickly race along here. I'll be a bit of a thrill seeker. There are carrots. Okay, he has been trading and I missed them. So I guess that's good news. So we have a working carrot farm. I am going to just AFK probably underneath it for an hour or so, and we'll pop back and see how many carrots we've got in our little hopper chain. So it's been just over an hour, and let's go and see. Which one was that? Full and a bit. So let's call it five, six stacks. I did throw in like a stack and maybe two stacks, so maybe three stacks an hour. That's going to be enough. So I think this is, where is he? A success. Finally. Well, guys, that is just about it for this episode. It'll, actually, it's definitely it. It's already gone way, way too long. So sorry about the picture in picture at the start. Yeah, I obviously didn't notice it on my recording software and I didn't see it until it was time to edit. So that was a bit of a bummer, but you know, not too bad. Is it annoying people that I'm just hanging off the edge here? It's actually annoying me. So yeah, have a look at Bob's video to see what he got up to and make sure you follow us and hit the subscribe button because we're going to build our little haunted mansions downstairs there. That will happen in the next episode and Giffo from Lucidity Server will be judging for us. So that will be fun and I will see you in the next episode. See you later.